So in case you're wondering why I'm wearing this uh, thing on my head, before we go on to the Abraham Washington video, I just want to explain to you guys something. Um, so if you didn't see what happened on the Raw review, basically Terminator NJ attacked me and I had a nasty fall on my head, which is why I'm I'm wearing this whole thing. And um, you know, you weren't you weren't even there, were you, to really defend me or anything? Sadly, I'm not a part of the going through, as you know, not anymore. So with Terminator NJ there, it's not like what Dan said. Sadly, this happened, and I worked there to defend or compromise with Terminator NJ. But it's just a shock that he would attack us who hired him. Yeah, I mean, you weren't there, man. You didn't feel the pain or anything, but god damn, this, this hurts. I'm going to try my hardest to get through the Abraham Washington video we got coming up for you guys. But in case you didn't see what happened on Raw, this is what happened. Well, you know what, Terminator Angie? I think that review went very well. You know, me and you actually made a pretty good team, you know? Mm, okay, well, I'm going to head to bed now anyway, so I'll see you later. Oh! Oh! Never again, Mr. Parkin. Welcome back, YouTubers, to another topical video on this Wednesday with us, the British Fist. Captain. I am a severely injured and tired Mr. Parkin, and this guy sitting next to me is none other than the guy who couldn't defend my honor because he wasn't there on Raw, of course. It's none other than NJ. What's up? But with what subs like, I know you definitely would have defended me there, NJ. Um, yes, yeah, so subscribe above, like this video, comment any thoughts you have on the topic at hand in the comment section below. Remember you contact us in the links in the box below. Yeah, and as per Terminator NJ's request, go follow him on Twitter at Terminator NJ, and also like his Facebook page as well. Um, he's got images of me getting attacked on his Facebook page. I cannot watch them, but. God damn, just do it anyway. Sad times, but the thing is that there are people out there who are liking these oh. pictures. So what are you trying to tell us, people? What are you trying to tell us? I mean, I've had people on the comment section saying that was really entertaining. I'm like, well, I just got hurt. This is ridiculous. Do you support me or not? I'm just saying, guys. But anyway, in this video, we're going to be giving our thoughts on Abraham Washington's release and how this relates to the hypocrisy and the double standards in the WWE. We've, we've waited a bit of time, haven't we, to really get our thoughts on this out. Uh, so we've had a lot of people requesting us do this video, but we thought we'd wait a little bit and see what happens in the meantime and then give our thoughts rather than just dive straight into it with a rant, really. That's the thing. When we were doing it, we thought that Abraham Washington was going to be signed side with his team and going much further. Then we got this news and we just thought, Right, let's see what the outcome is and then do this video. Yeah, uh, WWE apparently fired or released Abraham Washington because, and this is a quote, continued use of offensive and appropriate comments on live television and on social media after making a rape joke on the July 30th episode of Raw. That is obviously referencing the Kobe Bryant comments he made and then the Linda Sennett comments he made on the Twitter. Um, so just, just give us your quick thoughts, NJ, on Abraham Washington as a performer first, before we go into the before we go into the hypocrisy and the double standards and our opinions. Well, the thing is about him, I know that he's great on the mic. He gives it all. He does his best. It's just obviously when he came into the WWE and he sided up with prime time yes. players. The my problem with him, it was mouthy during the match beforehand. Warming up was great and all. But I think when he's on the mic, he's absolutely great. I just think he's just got a bit too much as the interference of the match. Yeah, the uh, the primetime players in the tag team division will not be the same without Abraham Washington. I watched him during his SCW days. Not exactly a great wrestler, but fantastic on the mic, which is why I did like Abraham Washington. Also, make sure you go follow Abraham Washington at BJ Rated R to go follow his Twitter rants about WWE. There's a real good insight into sort of reality of the business and stuff, and that's what we've been looking at, really. Um, but overall... He was a good future talent, but his release, general thoughts really, of, 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 you know, when you found out the news that he was released, what were your immediate thoughts? Well, straight away, I know this can come later, but the primetime players are screwed. Oh yeah, the primetime players are definitely screwed. With Aaron Washington, I did see when he's eventually grown with the primetime players, he moves on to someone else, probably helping a main event, mm. just a good progression in the WWE. When I heard they got released, I thought it was really sad because they brought him in quite strong. He was helping out different tag teams, making the faction that didn't follow through. But there's just so much about him that could have gone somewhere. So his release definitely hit a big impact on this very moment in time. His release was total bullshit, in my opinion. We're going to go into more, more in more detail why later. But really, I feel quite sorry for Abraham Washington because you know you knew you saw this kind of like bludgeoning guy on the mic, uh, you know, on, in WWE, and uh, it was a mistake. He made a mistake, and WWE seemed to acknowledge that mistake. But then all of a sudden, you know, for reasons which you'll go on to in a minute, he just got released. Um, but at the same time, I do understand that it was a, an offensive comment to make. 
Yes, it was an offensive comment to make, but don't fire him over it. Just suspend him for a month or something. But obviously a great talent on the mic that's just been fucked up by a couple of double standards and hypocrisies and a certain campaign of the WWE, really, in my opinion. It's definitely had a lot against him, and Abel Washington being the able to speak free will speaker did what he thought was right, but then obviously it backfired pretty hard. Yeah, so his release, in my opinion, was total bullshit. You give us your thoughts in the comment section below, of course. Now we're going to go on to the more pressing issues, really. We're going to start off by talking about, you know, when Abraham Washington said what he did, it really represented something for me, really, as a wrestling fan. You have, you have all this hypocrisy within the WWE and all these double standards, and Abraham Washington saying what he did, getting fired for saying what he did. You've got all these hypocrisies, all these double standards. I'll give you a couple of examples. You know, I'm allowing Vincent Mann to make fun of Jim Ross's Bulls palsy on Raw. Mike Tyson, a convicted rapist, celebrated for being in the Hall of Fame. The Be A Star campaign with Vicky, Vicky Guerrero's weight jokes. All the, you know, all the making fun of her, her jokes, you know, by John Cena and people like Jerry Lawler. Orton calling Kelly Kelly a slut. Seeing as homophobic slurs. Vincent Mann saying the N-word to Booker T. Did any of these get got fired for doing saying shit like this? Yeah, Abraham Washington says something about Kobe Bryant and he immediately gets fired. What's up with that? The thing I look at this is that normally when you do something, get like about three chances, especially like Orton and other oh, yeah. people who've done drugs and that, they get at least three chances before they're released. With just one remark for a guy, this was his first offence, mm -hmm. and he just gets released. That really shows compared to what wrestlers do, compared to what a manager does. It's kind of unfair there. It is, it is very unfair. I mean, you could go further. Big Show made a Kobe Bryant comment in a battle rap against Cena in 2004. Did he get done for it? No. Jericho got suspended for 30 days for desecrating the Brazilian flag. a Rai gets bullied by Cena and gets demoted from his push. And just that WWE is supposed to be promoting this uh, anti-bullying campaign. Well, I'm sorry, WWE. If I, you know, if I sit there and give you plenty of examples like this, and they're not being cap and they're not, you know, nothing's being done about them. Nothing's being done about Cena, the big shows, etc. Why Abraham Washington? It really does show a hypocrisy and a double standard within the WWE, and it's shit like that that really pisses me off about Vincent Mann's company sometimes. I think it's definitely bad when you look at it. You can even go as far as one person telling you on Skype that the WWE, especially Vince McMahon, has been against the black wrestlers. Oh yeah. I think Abraham Washington, just because he's probably in the black category mm -hmm. and he's made this remark, maybe that's why he's getting this quickly punishment oh, yeah. of what he's done. Because Vince McMahon is a well-known racist. There's a reason why Vince McMahon has never pushed really black guys towards the top of like The Rock, Mark Henry, and a couple others, etc. It could be, it could be, as Vincent Mann is a racist, whether or not that takes into account, I don't know. But I understand that back when these sort of offences were done, it was different times. But the point is, the this is the matter of fact. There are double standards within the WWE, and then the people at the top as well. And I just wonder why WWE sit there and they give us this bullshit with Bay Brown Washington being fired, and then they expect us to buy into their Be A Star campaign which they hypocrisize all the time with the anti-bullying campaign, with all the weight jokes on Vicky. They got all these examples of these things, which people, you know, if they, if Abraham Washington did this, that he would have been fired for, but because it was Cena or other people, he didn't get fired for. Double standards and hypocrisy have pretty much led to what is the firing of Abraham Washington, which was incredibly, incredibly unfair in my humble opinion. I look at this and I just don't see much agreement to this. Some people have noticed are glad that he's gone for different reasons, oh, no. but when I look at this, it's really pounding on the fact that WWE has changed over the years. We've just given a list of things that yes. happened in the past that they got let off for, but now it's come to this point in time where the WWE have new rulings and new things going on around them, past events that may have triggered things. They're really pounding on how wrestlers and managers and serious people within the WWE should act. Yeah, and to be honest with you, Let's, let's just let's just go to the case here, NJ. This was done mainly because of one thing, and one thing only, which is maybe why the WWE became PG a while back in 2007, 2008. This was done because of a certain Linda McMahon Senate campaign. I mean, that's what it is, pretty much, isn't it? You get something like that. During Linda's Senate campaign, when she's trying to put on a very good image so she can be a senator or whatever, stuff like this happens. This is why she got, this is why Abraham Washington got fired, because... This is all done to try and protect Linda McMahon's image. And you could even argue that the WWE went PG to try and protect Linda McMahon's image in the Senate. And I sure as hell hope that she doesn't win or so we're going to get another six years of this bullshit if she does. Well, the sad thing is, even if she doesn't win, when the next year comes around, oh. the same thing's going to happen again. So in my opinion, maybe she should just win so she has the new ruling of what she controls and maybe allow the WWE, because she's got the job that she wants, maybe just give her the make her win and then the WWE can start changing that way. Yep. 
And it's the re you know, the fact that WWE has become squeaky, so squeaky clean is really the reason why people like Abraham Washington are being treated very unfairly. Even if they do make a slight mistake, you don't fire them over stuff like that. It is very unfair and very unjust, which I believe. And, you know, it's just funny that just because Minimum Man sometimes isn't doing well in the polls or whatever, that she, you have this, like, stand-up for WWE shit. Remember that stand-up for WWE stuff? You have that, and it's kind of like, you know, you're sitting there as a fan thinking, so I'm going to stand up for WWE, but why should I? Because what I'm potentially standing up for in Little McMahon is essentially ruining a, a good product. It's essentially ruining a wrestling promotion and also really giving us unjust reasons to fire guys like Abraham Washington. Why do you think so many guys were released after her last Senate campaign when she spent 50 freaking million to lose? Why do you think so many talents were released? Because of the campaign. This is why. This is why AEW was fired. It is just fact. And I'm just looking at this and thinking it's coming up soon. So if Linda wins, things can change. If she loses, expect it to happen again next year. And I'm just thinking, is this going to be one big cycle or is there going to be something that breaks it? The thing that breaks it is, if I said this a long while ago, but I'm going to say it now. Vince McMahon, just divorce her. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, if Linda McMahon goes into the Senate again, we're going to get more of this shit. And to be honest with you, it's kind of funny as well, the hypocrisy within this, because one of Linda McMahon's monikers in her, you know, in her campaign is the ability to create jobs. And I find it funny that after her, her last Senate run, loads of people got released because they spent 50 million doing it, and now they're firing Abraham Washington for something that he said, which maybe they could have suspended him a month for or whatever. They fired him. And, you know, one of her monikers was, we're trying to create as many jobs as possible. Well, you're doing it in your company, but you just fired a guy for something that is potentially you could have just disciplined him over, but not fired. Come on, that was ridiculously overdone. And I can't see how they're going to come back from this because we're mentioning all what's going on. But the thought that keeps coming to me is they have Avon Washington, a guy that people grew to love and mm. some got to hate. But the the, re the thing that happened before he left was just before SummerSlam, oh, yeah. which I'm going to bring up now. Maybe it's out of place, but it just comes up. All this we've said about why he should be fired. It's got, what has he left? He's left a trade of new stars going towards mm. the SummerSlam tag title match and... I don't know now. Yeah, well, the, there's no reason for me to care about the primetime players anymore because they don't have AW. Um, and I think, to be honest, if we can go over further with this argument, we've looked at the hypocrisies which are blatantly there, which have gone against AW. Linda's Senate campaign essentially, you know, being a kind of block for Abraham Washington in, you know, in getting his firing. Um, you know, this kind of, to me, shows me what WWE has become. It shows that WWE tries too hard to be politically correct. It shows they're not in any way edgy anymore. And this is potentially really why their product isn't that great right now because of all this because of all this bollocks, really, in my opinion. This is this is the kind of stuff you cannot it's kind of AW, you cannot be in any way edgy or anything, or else you're gone. And that's the kind of shit that really pisses me off about the word wrestling entertainment right now. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be much that can be done about this, because like I've said throughout the video, there's new rules in the WWE, and until something gets done about them, I think many wrestlers who want to come in and cut the great promos, or to be able to have the free speech, which I've said, they're not gonna be able to, and they've really got to lie to their words, which, even though Abel Washington knew beforehand, so maybe it's his fault in a way he stepped over the line. It's his fault, but he made one mistake. We've all made mistakes, MJ, and it just, one little error of judgment and the guy's gone. And you know, it just it, to me, it just seems very unfair that guys like you know can get free strikes of drugs. You know, you have exact you have these hypocrisies before with guys that you know have done certain things which you know Abraham Washington would have been fired for, but they didn't get fired for it. And you know, it just really sums this whole thing up. And if this is where the WWE is going with regards to their PG product and protecting Linda's Senate campaign and her image as so damn much by using the World Wrestling Entertainment as a wrestling company, you know, it's not going to get much better. Really, it's not. It's not going to get that much It's not going to get much better, guys. Just saying. Anything more to say about AW's release? General thoughts? Not really. I'm just saying that, obviously, he just def definitely left at the wrong time. Yeah, well... There you go, guys. Those are our thoughts. You can comment. Uh, comment. Give us your thoughts on AEW's release. Give us your thoughts on what you think of the hypocrisies, Linda's Senate campaign in this whole thing, and how WWE has become because of this. Give us your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the situation. So that has been it. Another video from us, uh, the British Fist. I never liked Abraham Washington, and as you can see. He's in the WWE no more. 
And yes, you've said all these different reasons why he's left. But he made one remark, and I just thought, you're not doing that. Only I can make those remarks. So I ended his career. <laughs> Goodbye, prime time players.